Hello, this is Dr. Gay from Versic MRI. And I'd like to talk about magic angle phenomenon. This is a case of a patient who had ankle pain. It was posterior ankle foot pain, more on the lateral side. We did an MRI of their ankle, and we noticed the Achilles tendon was normal. They thought it may have a problem, but it turned out to be fine. The plantar fascia looked great. And along the lateral side, this is a view where we can see the perineus brevis tendon coming down making its turn around the lateral malleolus. It looked pretty good, but we lost it between here and here. So the question was, is this magic angle phenomenon? Is that why it's absent, or is it torn, or tendinopathic? Same with the perineus uh, longus tendon. So the perineus longus is over here. It comes down to this point. This is the perineal tubercle. It loops behind that. And between here and the cuboid bone, bone where it goes beneath, here's the cuboid bone, it is not well seen. Now, in this region, you can have something called a fibrocartilaginous node. So the question was, is that what that is? Or is it magic angle phenomena? We just don't know. And since the pain was more lateral than medial, we decided to get them back and do another sequence with the foot and plantar flexion. This is a fat set PD image on the same angle of the foot here. We can see the perineus brevis coming down and then disappearing. The perineus longus in coming down, making that loop. And then between here and here, just invisible. We can see it back here. But again, between here and here, it's just absent. So again, this is the foot with the toes pointing uh, up, dorsiflexion. And so now we're going to do plantar flexion. And now the angle is no longer 55 degrees. With the foot toe pointed downwards, the angle is straightened. And this is the perineus brevis tendon. It comes down, and we do lose it here again, just a little bit further down. And that may be related to volume averaging artifact. And if we look at the perineus longus tendon right here, it comes down, not well seen. As it loops between here and here, we do see some signal within it. It's not completely absent like before. And now we're going to do some axial images through this. This is with the toes up, the initial images. We see the perineus longus, perineus brevis. And this is the lateral malleolus. So we're going to go inframalleolar. As we go inframalleolar, the perineus brevis tendon, which is here, pretty much disappears because of the magic angle phenomenon. And the perineus longus tendon is good until the perineal tubercle, which is right here. And then below that, it disappears. And now we're going to put up the view where we have the foot in plantar flexion, toes pointed down. And now we can see the perineus tendons above the ankle. And now we're going to come down here to the inframalleolar portion. Here's the brevis in the front. Here's the brevis. And before it has completely disappeared here, but now we can see it coming down, down, down. We know it's not torn. If we come back up to the perineus longus tendon, here's the longus. We can see fluid in the tendon sheath. And we're going to come down, down, down. Here's the perineal tubercle. And if we go down a little bit further, we see it split into two separate components. So this is a longitudinal split tear beginning at the perineal tubercle and extending to the cuboid bone. And again, before, without uh, having the foot in plantar flexion, it just looked like fog. I'll show that again. Here we go. This is the perineus longus tendon here, down to the tubercle, and then in this region here, before we saw the nice split tear, and this is with the foot and dorsiflexion, just can't see it at all. So it's very helpful to have them come back, and now we can tell them they do have a tear. That is where their symptoms are from, but with the foot and dorsiflexion, just the standard uh, views, uh, it's impossible to tell what is going on out there on the lateral side. So we do all our patients now with a foot in uh, plantar flexion, and uh, thank you very much.